widely dispersed across the Sahel and West African region are the Fula, Fulani or Fulbi people. Members of this ethnic group inhabit many countries. They live mainly in West Africa and northern parts of Central Africa, South Sudan, Darfur, and region near the Red Sea coast in Sudan. A significant proportion of the Fulani are pastoralists, and their ethnic group has the largest nomadic pastoral community in the world. The majority of the Fulani ethnic group consists of semi-sedentary people and sedentary settled farmers, scholars, artisans, merchants and nobility. As an ethnic group, they are bound together by the Fulfuli language, their culture and history. Religious-wise, more than 99% of the Fula are Muslims. Traditionally, Nomadic Fulani lives in domed houses known as Bukaru, literally grass house. During the dry season, the houses are supported by compact millet stock pillars, and in the rainy season, by reed mats held together and tied against wood poles. These mobile houses are very easy to set up and dismantle. With recent trends, however, Many Fulani now lives in mud or concrete block houses. Marriage in this culture is endogamy, which is meant to preserve the royal bloodline and wealth. The Fulani people practiced early marriage and it is mostly arranged by the families. Marriage is usually between cross cousins and parallel cousins. The children are betrothed even before they were born. There are three stages of the Fulani traditional marriage system. These are the Sharu stage, where men are publicly flogged by other men to test their bravery, courage, strength, and discipline. If the prospective groom cries, he is regarded as a coward and may be rejected by the bride's family. The next is the Kuagal stage, where the dowry and the bride price are paid. Here, the dowry, which is the herd of cattle, is transferred from the bride's father to the groom's family, while the bride prize, which consists of gifts, is transferred from the groom to the bride. This is the legalized marriage and was the most important stage of the union. The last stage is the Kabal, which is the Islamic wedding ceremony that can be done in the absence of the prospective couple. The bride is then accompanied to her husband's house and she is being welcomed by the women. The Fulani people have a unique way of dressing in the traditional context. Men wear a hat that tapers off at three angular tips, known as the nopier. Both men and women wear a white or black cutting fabric gown endowed with intricate blue, red and green thread embroidery work with stars. It is not uncommon to see women decorate their hair with beads, hair accessories as well as cowrie shells. While this traditional way of dressing by the Fulani still persists, you find a great number of them today dress largely like the houses. In terms of food, the Fulani diet usually includes milk products such as yogurt, milk and butter. Each morning they drink milk or grill made with sogo. It is central to Fulani identity and a revered drink. It is common to see Fulani women hawking milk products in beautiful decorated calabashes on their heads. Their main meals consist of a heavy porridge made of flour from such grains as millet, sorghum or corn. They eat it with soup made from tomatoes, onions, spices, peppers and other vegetables. Another popular meal eaten by almost all Fulani communities is made from fermenting milk into yogurt and eaten with corn couscous known as lachiri or dakir. 
The Fulani people have a rich musical culture and play various traditional instruments, including drums, hudu, and riti, and vocal music. The numerous subgroups all maintain unique repertoires of music and dance. Songs and dances reflect traditional life and are specifically designed for each individual occasion. You find in the Fulani well-behaved set of people. In general, Fulani tends to be the ruling caste among Islamic communities in the northern areas of West Africa. They control the various northern emirates. This will not be unconnected with their positive attributes. The former president of Nigeria, Mohamed Buhari, the president of Senegal, Maki Sall, the president of the Gambia, Adama Baru, the president of Guinea-Bissau, Umaro Sissoko, the vice president of Sierra Leone, Mohamed Juldel Jalo, and the prime minister of Mali, Bobo Sisi, are all of Fulani descent. They also occupy positions in major international institutions such as the Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations, Amina Mohammed, the 74th President of the United Nations General Assembly, Tijani Mohammed Bandi, and the Secretary General of OPEC, Mohammed Sanusi Barkindo. Hence, the Fulani are a highly recognized and successful ethnic group globally. Paruji mi erbi, 